Scott McKenzie, Troy McLean, you've had a great weekend and third outright in the four wheel drives. Congratulations, mate. Yeah, absolutely stoked. Um, you know, we had a terrible year last year and um, came here just to basically finish the event and uh, to come out in third is just amazing. Troy, you guys are relatively new to this sport, but you're coming to grips with it pretty well. Oh, yeah, a bit slow at the start, but it's still got a lot way to go. But um, as, as Scotty said, we try and complete the weekend, and as we did, and look what happened. It, stay on the track. And <laughs> it is a tough event from that, though, isn't it, Scott? You've got to be there at the end, and there's plenty of high-profile goals making a few mistakes. Yeah, well, that's it, you know. I mean, we made our big mistake last year, so, uh, you know, we know that uh, it's not all about going fast, it's about getting to the end, so... We might have been a bit off the pace, but uh, you know, we're here and, and, and the result's good. So, so after a fair few dramas today, second in four-wheel drive national series, Brad Markovic, Glenn McNeil, well done, mate. Perfect yesterday, not so good yeah, today. One of those days today, but you know what, we persevered, we got through. Uh, Glenn was sensational today, he said, mate, you know what, this is the best opportunity for us to go do some miles, just don't worry about the first stage, let's just go out there and use it as a day just to test, find some rhythm again, bum in seat time, and you know what, it was good. We achieved everything we wanted to achieve, and we look forward to the next one now. So, yeah. Glenn, sometimes not just the code or you have to take on a lot of different roles in the car to sort of manage problems, don't you? Oh, absolutely, and that's, I mean, I'm lucky. I've done lots of rallies around the world, and you know, Bradley's come back to the sport after being away for a long time. So it's just having a little bit more experience there sometimes in the situations, and you make the best of a bad situation, basically. So and that's what we did today. So he drove really, very, very, very well all weekend. So it was good fun. And, and you've, you've been telling me all weekend, your focus is the West Australian Championship, so to pick up a second yeah. in the four-wheel drive national series is probably a bonus oh, on top, really. Huge bonus. At the end of the day, we came here with the intentions of West Australian points uh, to come away with a second ARC in four-wheel drive sensation. Four-wheel drive national winners, and I think probably played the cleanest game all weekend in the new car, and the smile is back, guys. Congratulations to Mick Patton, of course, Bernie. Well, well done, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah, we uh, we had a pretty strict plan this weekend. Uh, Bernie kept me in tuck the whole way around and put a couple of little scratches on the car, but I uh, can give it back to Dave now and say thank you very much. So, <laughs> yeah, no, stoked, absolutely stoked. Bernie, uh, it was a tough year last year for you guys, you know, and like you said, I think that it, you lost a little bit of the enthusiasm, not the enthusiasm, but I guess, you know, the, it does just great on you after a while. This is sort of a nice, refreshed sort of uh, year for you, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Look, after... Uh, Whatever we had last year, two fires, a whole bunch of mechanical dramas, two crashes, both in testing in 10 days before the last round. You know, we, we were pretty low at the end of the year. So to come back, you know, make a decision, take a different direction, I'm, I'm pretty sure we've made the right call. It very much looks like that. And even better news, mate, local round there. So it's just all good news from here, isn't it? Yeah, well, that uh, might play up into our hands a little bit as well. But um, I think the big thing is having a couple of years in the polo as well. It's really helped the drive the slower things as well. So really sort of happy with that as well. But uh, look, the race talk team are absolutely fantastic. And, you know, it's just a great package all around, so yeah, we're stoked, absolutely. Right.